Hello everybody, in this video we're going to teach you how to connect any controller to Epic Games Launcher. It's a PS4 controller, an Xbox controller, even a wired controller. So let's get the process started and I'll show you. So this process works the same for most controllers, so just follow along. Even if you're like an Xbox controller or a wired controller. So controller. The first thing you want to do if it's a Bluetooth controller, like a PS4 controller or an Xbox, is you want to hold down the PlayStation button and then the share button right here. So if you can see that, the share button and the PlayStation button, and then it's gonna have this um, linking icon that like blinks. And then you wanna go to settings right here and you wanna click add device, Bluetooth, and then you want to find wireless controller. So I'm just gonna click that right here. And as you can see, now it's connected, the blinking has stopped. And the next step we can do is go to Steam, so once you have Steam open, you want to go to this thing right here, which is big picture mode. It's located by your icon of your username and just click enter big picture mode. So now when you're in the Steam big picture mode, you want to go to menu right here and you want to go to settings. And then from here, what you want to uh, click is controller. And then for whatever controller you have, like a PlayStation controller, or if you have an Xbox that's connected, you want to click enabled. So right here, I have it enabled in games without support. So it's just enabled or you can, you know, you can enable input for Xbox controllers or Switch Pro generic controllers. And then after that, what you want to do is you want to go back um, and you want to click power and then you want to click exit picture mode. So now the next thing you want to do is you want to go to library on Steam and then you want to go and click add game right here, as you can see. And you want to click add a non steam game game so then you want to just scroll down until you can find epic games launcher which is right here and you want to add selected programs and this is the most important part because most people don't realize this is the overlooked part and like why is your controller only access the menu but doesn't move the character so then you want to add another one if you're doing Grand Theft Auto and you want to do this specific uh, path, you want to go to here, you want to click Browse. Then from there, you want to go to where your Rockstar Games is uh, located. So if it's in this case, go to this PC, Windows SSD, or whatever drive you have it in, then go to Program Files. Then scroll all the way down until you can find Rockstar Games, and then click Launcher then click launcher.exe because this is the correct one, not the one that's preloaded into the Steam. And just click open. And then click add selected programs, which is right here, add selected programs. Now what you want to do, and this is to make sure your Steam actually goes through the input, is you now want to uh, right click the applications, click properties, and then go to controller right here and then click um, enable Steam input. So for Epic Games Launcher right here, right? And then just click close and then do the same thing for Rockstar Launcher. So just right click Launcher, click Properties, click Controller, click Enable Steam Input. Then from here, just launch Epic Games Launcher from Steam or launch, or an and, sorry, and launch Rockstar Launcher uh, from Steam and let's wait for this to load uh, and then from there you can essentially run Grand Theft Auto from any both of either Rockstar Launcher or you can launch it from Epic Games and now as you can see I can correctly move the Grand Theft Auto character with my controller and I can even use all the controls to aim as you can see and everything works perfectly as described you can see all the movements correspond and i you know i'm at the story mode but yeah thanks for watching this video like and subscribe for more content i'll see you later